Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you the differences between the mini whitebook scan and the whitebook scan. Uh, now, uh, with the mini whitebook scan, we include a semi permanent correctable marker because a lot of people will use this as their own reusable note taking device. However, uh, the 8.5 by 11 whitebook scan is really meant to be like your personal all in one whiteboard. And so we include a uh, ultra fine dry erase marker so that you can quickly sketch out uh, and take some notes. And, uh, and write on a bunch of different types of pages. So we include three different types of pages in this notebook. We include ruled pages, we include uh, graph pages, and blank pages. So we have our blank and we have our graph. Uh, so let me just show you how this works here. This is my favorite way to, to use this notebook. I'll actually uh, just put it at the horizontal level here and I will just, uh, for example, draw character like so. Uh, I'm going to pull up the white book scan app here. I'm just going to take a uh, snap so I can take a snap of the edges here. It's going to recognize the borders and automatically crop the edges. Uh, I actually want to only uh, scan a portion of it so I'm just going to edit this crop here like so and I'm happy with this. There we go and all you do is you just click the little upload button here there we go. It's going to save it directly to my Google Drive, which I've already pre-configured in the uh, application here. Um, and so I'm going to go to my Google Drive. I'm going to refresh this page here. I can see that my image has just appeared. And what I could do, and I like to do this where I just create a new Google Doc. I can put a picture here from my photos. I'm going to go to my demo folder and just find my image. And there we go. We have this really clean, neat image here. And I could just go, this is a face. It allows me to save everything all in one place. Uh, so that essentially is a summary of the uh, mini whitebook scan and the whitebook scan. And when you're done, you can just wipe your entire notebook completely clean and reuse it over and over and over again.